Hello and welcome. In this video session, we will discuss on the concept of atomicity. A atomic city is a condition in which the code is written in such a way that code cannot be run by other process or thread at the same time while it is being executed by the initial process or the first process. All system calls in Linux are executed atomically. By this we mean that the kernel guarantees that all the steps in the system call are completed as a single operation. Also, Linux system calls either written pass or failed without any intermediate result. So for example, we have seen system calls such as open, read, write. So when we call an open system call, it executes atomically and it returns either a pass or a fail. So the atomic operation is very important to be maintained in the multiprocessing environment. This atomic operation helps to overcome the issue of race round condition. In this diagram, let's see how the atomic operation works. Here we can see there are two process, process 1 and process 2. Both process are calling a common code and in the common code there is a part of the code called as critical section which, which has the common resource. So when the critical section needs to be executed, we have to make sure that this critical section executes in a atomic manner that means only one part of the process or only one given process can enter the critical section at any given point of time this makes sure that the race around condition issue will not occur so for example when process one satisfies the critical section condition and enters the critical section and in case the scheduling time of process 1 has finished and process 2 has entered the common code and it is about to enter the critical section. So before entering the critical section a check has to be made so that the process 2 cannot enter the critical section. Thus process 2 waits until the process 1 finishes executing the critical section and once the process 1 finishes and reaches the end of the critical section now process 2 can enter the critical section and make use of the common resource thus we are limiting the process to enter the critical section this operation is called as atomic operation and here the start of critical section to end of critical section operates in an atomic manner. We will see more examples on this when we discuss synchroniz synchronization techniques in later videos.